Hello all, myself Dr. Shanti Verma. In today's tutorial, I am going to discuss recursion in Python programming language. Let's first discuss the learning objective of this session. At the end of this session, you are able to explain recursion, its uses and demonstrate problem solution using recursion. At last, you are also able to develop a Python program of factorial and Fibonacci series using recursive function. Now let's first discuss what is recursion. Basically uh, recursion is a process of defining something in terms of itself. A physical word example would be to place two parallel mirrors, mirrors facing each other. That is any object in between them would be reflective recursively. In Python, we know that the function calls the other functions, but it is even possible for the function to call itself. These types of constructs are termed as a recursive function. So, we can say that recursion is a computer programming technique that involving the use of procedure, subroutine, function, algorithm that calls itself either directly or indirectly. Now let's discuss what is recursion consist of. Basically recursion consists of the two uh, cases. For one is called as base case and second is called as recursive case. Base case is the condition that stops recursion from continuity on forever means the condition from which the recursion ends. Second is the recursive case that the parts where the code calls itself means uh, the code executed in the recursive function. So, uh, recursion without base case will result a uh, recursion error. When a recursion does not have a base case, it will run infinitely and reach to a maximum depth. So, it is important to define the base case very cleverly. Now, let us discuss how a particular problem is solved using a recursion. Uh, the idea is to represent a problem in terms of one or more smaller problems and add one or more base conditions to stop mm -hmm. the recursion. Uh, for example, if you want to uh, solve uh, factorials using a recursion, let us take example to calculate the factorial of 10. We know that the factorial of 10 means 10 into 9 into 8 up to 1. but when we calculating the factorial of 9, it also means the 9 into 8 into 7 up to 1. So, factorial 10 can be written as 10 into factorial 9. So, you can see that when we are calculating the 9 factorial, we are uh, uh, with the help of 9 factorial, we are easily uh, able to calculate the 10 factorial. This means uh, it can be translated to uh, if we want to calculate the n factorial, then we can write n factorial equals to n into n minus 1 factorial. In Python, we can write as a uh, def factorial num. Let us take a one function uh, to calculate the factorial and pass the number in this function. Now, uh, what is the base case? Uh, we know that the factorial of 0 equals to 1 and the factorial uh, does not have a negative value. So, if number equals to equals to 0, then it returns 1. Else, it returns num into factorial n minus 1. So, recursion case when the number is greater than 0, uh, multiply the number by the number behind it. In the figure, you can see that that factorial 3 is 6 and 3 into factorial 2 is also 6. 2 into factorial 1 equals to 2 and 1 into factorial 0 equals to 1. So, if you want to calculate a factorial 3, it means you have to calculate a factorial 2, factorial 1 and factorial 0. So, it can be solved using the recursion very, uh, very easily. Uh, now, let us take an example of the Fibonacci series. Uh, 
Fibonacci series is a set of numbers that starts with 1 or a 0 followed by a 1 and proceed based on the rule that each other is equal to the sum of the preceding two numbers. So, if the Fibonacci sequence is denoted as f of n, so where n is the first term in the sequence, or sequence the following equation it obtains for n equals to 0 where the first two numbers are defined as 0 and 1. So, the series is 0, 1, 0 plus 1, 1, 1 plus 1, 2 preceding two numbers sum then 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 2, 5 and so on. In some context it is compulsory to use n equals to 1. In that case, the first two numbers are 1 and 1 by default and therefore f of 1 is 1, 1, then 2, 2 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 2, 5 and so on. We can write this program in Python as let us take a 1 function fit with a parameter n, n is a number entered by user. The base case for the Fibonacci series is if n equals to equals to 0 or n equals to equals to 1 return n. So, if n equals to 0, the value is 0 on or if n equals to 1, the value is 1. Now, let us discuss the recursive case. The recursive case return the first two values first two preceding values sum. So, we can write fib n minus 1 plus fib n minus 2. Uh, this algorithm will return a Fibonacci number on index n means the value existing in the in, at the index position of n. Uh, if we uh, want to, to get the value of n, uh, so we have to sum the value of n minus 1 and value of n minus 2. Let us uh, discuss some uh, advantages and disadvantages of recursion. Basically, recursion can reduce the time complexity for a complex problem. Uh, it adds clarity and reduce your time to write and debug the code. Uh, recursion is better in problem uh, based on the tree traverses and the uh, or the structures. Disadvantages are basically it uses more memory. Uh, for the stack and it can be slow due to the overhead up of maintaining tasks. In the iterative and the recursive approach, you can see in the figure that in iterative uh, approach, there are uh, uh, number of steps are more as compared to the recursive approach. So, if uh, uh, you have to calculate the values that can be used in program uh, very frequently, uh, for calculating for example the Fibonacci and the factorial uh, the best way is to use a recursive approach not a iterative approach. For more learning you can refer these references. Thank you.